Hello everybody and welcome back to Saturday Night Zelda. This will be the second episode of the two-part thing you do for the Saturday Night Zelda. My name is Barf. We're playing the video game. We did a quick edit break for YouTube and now we are back! Uh, uh, burn the thing alive! Oh, we got a chest. I, th I thought it would be the... Oh, shit. I thought it would be the thing that I need... over there earlier, but I guess not. Maybe it's just money? A joy pendant. That's cool, too. It's cool, too. Yep. Oh, shit. Alright, nope. Check it out. Here's what we do. We slay them all. Oh. Well, alright. Here I am now. Ow. Here I am. You just bought two more trading card battle pets. You have nine out of 15. Holy shit, do you really? Good ass job. Just swimming in the pets. Damn these electrical bumblers. Okay. All right. Oh, I want the chicken mount, man. I want that. I want that. I mean, I'm not willing to do what it takes to get it. Don't get me wrong. I don't want it that much, but it's really cool. Are you serious? Sal, are you serious? Whoops. Well, that was almost lost to time and space. See that, Sal? You saved $240. You did it. Oh, bad. I'm starting to get tired, which isn't like me. I've only been sitting here for five hours. It's not like it's not very much. Nope, we're not sailing, we're cruising. All right, boat. Oh, well, all right. All right, boat. I am a boat. I am a boat. I am a boat and boat. Okay, there's three buttons over there, and there's two statues here, so I'm guessing it's supposed to be me and the statues, but I'm pretty sure this is a laser thing. Don't shoot me, bro. You just ran Blackwing Lair on the Paladin. You got four pieces of judgment from it. <laughs> what? Good for you, man. Judgment is a uh, highly sought set. There we are. Yeah, the people love them, their judgment set. I always thought Priest Tier 2 actually looked a little better than Paladin Tier 2, but... I recognize that I'm apparently a fucking monster.
That way is open, and these ways are not. Okay, cool. So let's go this way. A dollar. Dollar. Cool. Is it the pants or the helm that's in Molten Core? Man, I can't remember any of that stuff. Okay. I know what this is. Secret of the Goddess is a guide post. Press ZR and guide me. Guide me. Come on! Pants. Okay. This is the cutest thing. Oh, look at him. Here he comes. It's an escort quest, except it's kind of cute. You had to do that because he's too tall. Like, like I can't carry him under the platform there. I guess I'm just supposed to jump it. Just jumping it. I kind of thought I was going to get attacked by the yellow choo-choos again, but I guess not. Oh. Your. Effing God. Is it a Dora Bibble? Is it the cutest thing you ever done did see? This mount that you just fished hours for, this mount is actually just a pet. Pet charms, level 25 boosts. Does it give you sweet ass movement speed though? Does it give you sweet ass movement speed? You went with the pet mirror because you have plans for it. Ah, that shit's funny. My kin wait beyond the doors. Control them and guide them to their lasers of truth. Open the path of the gods. All right, fine, dude. Jesus. Yeah, teleport that shit away from the fuck out of here, Scotty. All right, which one's open now? This one. Warlock are people who count not handle being a mage. What? Uh, what about this? Do they like this? Hey, Bob.
No! Okay, so I must be about to get the bow. Don't get eliminated. Okay, wait, what happened? Warlock are people who can't not, who count not handle being a mage. That's what someone posted in guild chat a little while ago. Yeah, mages and warlocks are all fighting each other all the time about everything. <laughs> oh, you know what? I understand. I gotta do this. That'll create a bridge. Okay, and now... Yeah, the sex game. We all knew. ZR is back. Okay. Buttons are weird. Buttons are weird. No, I did that. Hey! My dude, it is I, the King of Red Lions. I'm afraid there are some areas you will not be able to bring the servants of the tower, but do not fear leaving them behind. Once you have awakened them, they will wait patiently for your return. Of this, I assure you. You know what, man? If I was here looking for your freaking know-how, I would have given it to you, Mr. Kingly Red Lion, man. How come I can't get Bob to... There he is. Come get me. Come at me, Bob. And I'm going to die. How much hearts do I lose? I had one and a quarter. Oh, I lose a quarter heart from falling? Ah, oh, I think I'll be just fine then. Okay. Here we go! Wait a minute, what? Oh shit, he's all the way over there. Can I control his ass? From this far away? Sweet! I did it! Show me hearts! Alright, I guess we get to kill a thing. Oh, good! An iron knuckle. I thought it might have been something hard. Yeah, man, you promote the girlfriend. That's what happens. That's how it works. <laughs> Kill a man! I don't care that you're a dog with armor on. Nailed it. Oh, 
Fight them. Kill them. Make them pay. Alright, I got some hearts back, man. <laughs> okay, uh, probably thinking like this, probably. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. I don't like how it's the wrong it's the wrong stick, man. There we go. It's kind of a weird thing to ask for, but I mean, she could do it if she wanted to. And actually, what's funny is, um... Kara was originally modded because it turned out, using BrainBot, you couldn't add quotes unless you were... the streamer or a mod. Like, it was really a weird setup. So that was, that was, that was Kara's promotion. Yours, it was very much a, you hear all the time, and everybody's, like, you're, you're, you're just as helpful to the show as anybody else has ever been. Like, you, it was, it was this thing of, like, you know what, man, if I, if I give him a sword, things are gonna get fucking smooth. Like, things are gonna be nice. And then from that point forward, I was like, I don't know that I need any more. Like, we don't have a huge channel here, man. Oh, sweet. But then since then, the show, the, the... Ah, fucking great. But since then, the, um... The channel has actually gotten a little larger. And also, I figured, you know what, fuck it, why not? Well, I mean, that was one of the goals of this was... Well, shit. That was one of the goals of this was more interaction with the viewers. Like, I just... I like... I like talking to people about video games. But I get yelled at for that shit at work. So I was like, I know a way to talk to people about video games. I'd love to know why yesterday I streamed like crazy and everything was great, and then today I'm streaming like crazy and everything's great, and then when we do the converted, my shit explodes in a bad, terrible way. How did you... How'd you do that? How'd you do that? I mean... Please don't... Like... Please don't do that? But how'd you do that? What's happening right here? Oh, no!
Yeah, that's fine. Future reference, that kind of language not permitted. fully understanding what... Oh, shit! I just have to play the song. Okay. Oh, fuck. Normally, there is a, um... Normally, there is a, uh... A way to see what my songs are. Like, what my available... I'm super confused. Okay, now they're all dead. Good. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna want my little leafy man. This game was probably very, very seriously intended to use the gamepad. And that may explain some of my weird controlleriness. There we go. Good. Hey. Is there more shit up there? Yes, there is. Okay, very good. This all seems very unlikely. There we go. Aha. There we are. Nailed it. I don't think there's anything actually good in this. It's just like a, yeah, like a joy pendant. Spoils bag thing. That's all right. Yeah, man, just don't drop N-words in chat. You'll be just fine. Pretty easy. Generally speaking, it's an easy chat to get along with. Is it alright that uh, I kind of want to go to Westworld? That place looked kind of nuts. You're having the foods? Ooh, what kind of. Describe to me your foods. I want to go to Westworld. Yeah, man, I want to do quests. I want to do quests.
All right, we're going to try this, but I don't think this is the answer. Okay, nothing nearby that I can control. That's fine. I don't have magic. I need magic. You're having sandwich? Well, I don't listen to it because I'm not... I haven't watched the show until yesterday. There we are. That's all I needed. Hopefully. I don't know, man. It just seemed cool. And yeah, people kill each other a lot there. It's true. Doesn't have to be me. I'm convinced a bazillion percent that Randall Flagg is the... Um... Wizrobe. Oh, fuck. Ah! Really? I'm convinced that Randall Flagg is the inspiration for... Why? Am I, like, not shooting arrows? I don't understand. Inspiration for the man in black. I want to climb this ladder. Fight me! Give me a lot of mana. Is it really exactly correct? Thank you. Okay, so me and that statue are going to weigh the same as two statues, which means we got to put three statues here. Right? Does this make sense to everybody? Three statues! Three statues are heavier than two statues. And I weigh the same as a statue, which means I can lift my own body weight over my head and run and jump easily. Episode to episode with zero spoilers. Well, then I guess I'm going to have to listen to it then, aren't I? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I do not want this spoiled. I'm in. I'm in. Okay, we got all the robots. We're going to be able to go up and fight the boss. And it's Andros. The boss is Andros. Has anyone ever played Star Fox? Do you remember Andros? That's who we're going to fight, is Andros. Ugh. One of my team has never watched it before, so he is a virgin. You know, I don't think someone's virginity is dependent on whether or not they've seen a TV show. Yeah, that's the other one I want to listen to, is Embrace the Spoilers. Alright. Puzzle seems easy enough so far. Okay, it stays unlit. Perfect. Oh, shit. Oh, shit.
No, don't run away from the bomb. Didn't I? No problem, man. Just like, just stay away from. We'll just stay away from. Language you type things, and we'll be fine. Fuck! Come on, you dumb bejeweled butthole. Did I get him? I got him. Wait, we got it. Well, yeah, but... All that work, and I didn't even actually... Oh, yeah! Wait a minute, those lasers are weak to bombs, aren't they? Hey, buddy. Hello, I am Borb! Okay. Oh, hey, bombs. Uh, let's stick with that. Well, I'm going to need arrows for the thing, so let's do this. Yeah, but... I mean, that's not a... I don't know that coming into a, a group of people and expecting the fact that you're a stranger to, like, make it okay to drop N-words is really... excusable? I don't think that that counts as... Logical. You feel me? I'm gonna stab a bird right in their face. Yeah, it was removed. It was removed. It was removed. Uncle Andros! I'm gonna need Aroth. Pawing! You have done well to find your way to this place. Oh, chosen one. Accept this final challenge! Guys, the game's about to be over. Final challenge? Sounds quick and, uh, final. Final. Fi final ish. Do, 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 it's literally Andros. AKA Lord Bongo Bongo. AKA uh, the rock boss from that one level in Mario 64. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, sucker. Wait, what, what are you? You're a shoot him in the eye man, right? Oh! from bombs. 
Got him. Yes! Chew on that, you dipstick. I'm gonna run out of arrows, and then he's gonna sneeze arrows at me. out of, uh, out of bullets pretty darn soon here. Thank you. Is it possible to stream Ocarina? It's not only possible, I've done it. Entire playthrough is available on my YouTube page. There is a little bit of tech involved. I use a... I use an Elgato HD60 Pro capture card, which is an HDMI. It adds, an, it's basically an HDMI input that, stop, I wanna target the, the eyeballs though. Not your hand eyeballs. I wanna target his, and his, like the ones next to his ear balls. There we are, that's the one I want. This is a little bit guardianish. A little bit guardianish. You f art. Come on, man. Come on, buddy. The Elgato HD60 Pro is an HDMI card, and as you know, the Nintendo 64 did not have an HDMI output. I use a converter. Anytime I need to stream using a non-HDMI console. And then at that point, you're G2G, baby. It is not the highest of definitions, but it's original. And it's how it was, like, all done. This looks almost something like Katamari Damachi. Oh, chosen one. What will now come to pass is tied to your fate, to the pa to the path you've chosen. Go forward with caution. Do 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 do. But yeah, I can stream off of basically any console except for computer mute. I can stream off of basically any console, uh, except for um, Game Boy Color, DS, 3DS. Tech exists to stream off of a Game Boy Advance, but I don't have it. I would have to get a Super Game Boy Advance, I think is what they called it, or the Game Boy Advance. It had something to do with the Game Boy Advance and the GameCube. It was like an attachment to the GameCube. You could play GBA games that way. Um, you could do DS and 3DS games. People do it. I can't because I don't have the tech for it. I don't have the hardware. I would have to have a modded DS or 3DS. Victory Screech! I would have to have a modded console. Um, I'm not willing to mod mine. I could find a modded one, but whatever. Not a huge priority. Hey! You've done well, my dude. 
It would seem the gods have acknowledged you to be a true hero. But this does not mean your trials have ended here. Once you take your first step into the world beyond the ring of light you see shimmering in the waves before you, your trial, your true trial will begin. Are you ready, my dude? So this is where we find out about the boat, but it's not where we find out about the other stuff, right? I think it's just boat that we find out about. In fact, yeah, I'm sure of it. This is a really cool depiction of Hyrule Castle. Like, all of this stuff is just so cool looking. I watched Thringer who has a 3DS with a capture card. Nintendo has a 3DS program to detect if the system has been modded, and if so, it locks the system for three days. See, that's... It's a bummer. It sucks. I understand that they're, like, on the lookout for cheating, and that's great, but... You're probably wondering where we are, aren't you? Unfortunately, there is not enough time for me to explain it to you now. Once you are able to strike down Ganon with the item you obtain inside this castle, all will be made clear to you. Trust in my words. See what awaits you in the castle. Do 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 do. Trying to transfer data. See, that's weird too. Like, what are they? What are they making you wait for? If they're gonna, if they're gonna lock you out of it, why not lock you out of it? Seems arbitrary and weird. Hey! The item you seek is hidden somewhere in the castle. To find it, you must find the entrance to the basement, but that entrance has been blocked by a mighty threshold, firmly sealed to prevent evil from ever gaining access. You know... Do you know where to search and what you must do to open the hidden way? You must find a clue in the shape of the heraldry near where we arrived at the castle. Really? Evil will never consider that they'll need to draw a Triforce on the ground with these very conveniently placed triangular bricks. Evil is not smart enough for that kind of shit. It is a puzzle laid bare before the gods. Where are the Gerudo? No idea. Literally no clue. Oh, I think all of me just cracked. That was exciting. That was a feels good man kind of moment. Alright, so check this room is that actually really cool. Um I assume I'm gonna... No, I definitely can look around after I grab the sword. I want to fill the color. Excellent, my dude. To perceive such a puzzle and decipher it is no small feat. It was a pretty small feat. Let's be real. It was kind of a... It was kind of an easy puzzle. Take the sword that lies before you. It is no other than the Master Sword. The blade... The, ba the blade of Evil's Bane. It is the only sword that can banish Ganon from the world above. So, like... That has been clear across the game like across all the games that the master sword has been in the master sword is a weapon that is intended for the sealing of ganon why in breath of the wild is zelda obsessed about that power being hers when link is standing behind her and he's got the sword in his hand he had the master sword in all those memories and she's like no i'm the failure here i'm the one who can't do it 
and I need to be able to do it because I need to be able to do it. And Link's like, yeah, okay, just do what you need to do. Meanwhile, he has the weapon that was designed specifically for this purpose. Like, do they just have the lore wrong? Like, do Link and Zelda misunderstand what they're what they need to do? Or are they changing what the magics do and are? I mean, it's true that he's never been sealed permanently, before, as far as I'm aware. Maybe? Could be. Hey! Yeah. You got the Master Sword, the, the legendary blade with the power to repel evil, once wielded by the legendary hero himself. Well, that's what they said in Skyward Sword, that it would never end. Alright, so let's check this out real quick. That's a stained glass of the Triforce. That's Princess Rudo from Ocarina. That's um, also from Ocarina, the Sage of Light. Rome, Rom, Remus, Ryan, Saria, Ganon, under the power of the Triforce, or taking the Triforce, and whatever's going on around the outside. Like, maybe this is the... Oh, it's the gods punishing him, because he's, like... Or the gods attacking him because he's got like all the waves and everything are coming up that's Darunia and there's Impa and there's Naboru they put in all the Ocarina of Time sages into the shrine like that's super dope isn't it that's, too, that's super dope it's really cool do 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 Gonna fight a bunch of dudes in their armor. Gonna kill some dudes. Oh, yeah. Let's go get them. I love how they hit each other accidentally. Oh, fuck. I got caught on the stairs and didn't attack. Oh, boy. All right. Yeah, now you're defenseless. You suck. I got that other guy's weapon. Alright, feeling more powerful about myself now. This is good. Let's go kill some more men. Gonna kill the men. I'm gonna kill the men. Gonna kill the men. Ow. I like how they wear little aprons. Oh, they're so cute with their aprons. 
I can't tell if this room is designed to just show me how powerful I've become, like to remind me that I'm a badass, or to actually challenge me. Because, I mean, as much reward as they give me for killing these guys, I don't think it's actually intended to be all that challenging. Yeah, you can totally kill the unarmored ones first, but the the, the moblins, but the stout, the, not the stout, those, the iron knuckles are more fun. Whoops, that's not the right button. I also love that they put in weak spots. Like, if you hit him right in his little back, it knocks his uh, armor off of him, and then you can just beat the turds out of him. Like, that's a cool mechanic in this. And you can only do that if you sneak up on them, or if you counterattack them. Oh, yeah. Everything's easier with light arrows, for sure. Okay, so there's nothing on this area. Is there a guy in that hallway over there? I'm doing this, by the way, because you have to clear out the castle before they'll let you out. I haven't actually tried to leave the grounds yet, but if I were to try to, they would they would knock me off the wall. Like, out of the door. You just straight up through their armor and they die with one hit with light arrows? That's awesome, dude. Yeah, see? They're not huge fans of that move, either. You just gonna punch somebody? You wouldn't hit a kid, would you? No, he didn't. can't tell. You'll never know. Kill them from behind. Lay them all. Oh. Guess he didn't have any more fight left in him after having fallen that far. Turns out it doesn't matter how big and beefy you are if you, um... You get knocked off the stairs and you fall to your death. You fall to your death, man. You can ask Hans Gruber about that shit. Oh. Apparently, I'm bad at throwing pots. Do go do go do go do do go do. -do. Hey! At long last, our preparations are complete. You must return with me, so you, you must return to me so that we can return by the same path that brought us here. The time has come for you to save your sister from her prison in the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry, my dude! Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Am I already at the end game? No, we got a couple of dungeons left, and then we have to build the Triforce. We got some we got we got quite some game left in us. Although today, we've got like a half hour left of playtime.
so. Okay. Yep, let's go. Ooh, wait. What if we went to Windfall and maybe, perhaps, maybe got the advanced sale? Can we do that yet? Are we allowed? Are we allowed to do that? The advanced sale would be pretty cool if I got that. How much money does it cost? Why is my phone constantly up? I just updated the OS. Why is it trying to update the OS again? Phones are dumb. We shouldn't have them. I knew I could get the warp. Oh, sweet. There's my man right now. Got him. That's what he gets. Right now I got 500. I got $500. Ooh, he's such a big frog. Second of an arm you got there. Oh, he's much tinier now. That's better. What an eye. No one's ever been able to spot me in there before now. You obviously have mastery of the air. And now that we've established that you're quite the wind waker... Let's see if you can handle this! Mada mada! Just who the hell do you think I am? Down, right, left, up. Okay. The Ballad of Gales. Wahoo! In the hands of the Wind Waker like you, it is a my adorable little cyclones will be as happy as can be. If you need to move like the wind over the ocean deeps, just call my cyclones. Well, I guess I'll head home now. See you on the road. Team Rocket's blasting off again! Sweet. You know what? Let's see if it can take me to Windfall. It totally can. Yes, let's warp to Windfall Island. Look at the way we use teleportation. If only it was so easy in real life. Wouldn't that be grand? Alright, we gotta find that auction house. Kaboom! Boom sploosh. I will admit, that one wasn't my grandest kaboom or sploosh. Son Goku's instant transmission IRL? Dude, yeah, I know what you're talking about, man. Link doesn't vomit spinning that fast. Link's got an iron stomach. Have you seen the shit I make him eat in Breath of the Wild? Auctions happen at night. Okay. Magical dance that changes day into night and night into day. If only I could recall the rhythm. Oh, the rhythm. I could dance it perfectly. Hey, you there. No. Let me out. Let me... Let, let me... Let me out! That's it. That's the rhythm I've been trying to recall. I can feel it, guy. Right. Left. Middle. Down.
Ah, fuck. Oh, okay. Guess what? Learn the song of passing gas. It's perfect! I'm perfect! I'll bring on the night! What's the matter? Nothing happened. Nothing at all. Why? Well, it's probably because you're not the fucking Wind Waker, bro. And guess what? Just like that. It's fucking night time! Now, where's the auction house? Uh, I don't know how passing wind makes it so that it's nighttime. I don't know. I just know it do. Do, 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 do. Nope, pictograph man. I did not know that. Good eye. Good eye and well done, baby metal fan. Wait, is this it? Is this my man? Good evening. I rent the first floor of this mansion in order to run a nightly auction. Tonight's auction is about to begin. Oh dear me, is it ever. It's an auction, but I like to describe it in more simple terms. It's a competition of the very highest order. It's a competition to see who can have the item being auctioned. Yeah, I want to participate in the auction. Obviously, I want to participate in the auction. You're completely fine with not explaining the auction to you. Um, completely not fine. Once the auction begins, you must shrewdly tap A repeatedly so you can earn the right to bid. Oh, the tapping, the excitement. And when you want to bid, tap A. When you do, the gauge will gradually build up. When your gauge is full, your chance to bid will have come. When you bid, you're naming the price you're willing to pay for the item. Let's call it your chance to show your wealth. Flaunt it, my dear. Of course, your fellow bidders will try to buy the item out from under you by raising the bids. So you can always raise it in return. Yes, obviously. The auction lasts one minute, not counting the time people spend talking. I will show you how much time remains. Okay, all right. I understand. Uh, probably something small at first is what I'm guessing. Ballad of Kronos, which slows the time, is just him and time backwards. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, those hidden songs? Yeah, they were cool. All the bargain-loving people. What a turnout. The auction is about to begin. And what will pop up this evening? A treasure chart. All right, cool. So I have to win this in order to win the sale, right? Like, I have to buy all this. I think I have to be the winner. Opening bid at 60 rupees and begin. Uh, Well, I mean, I, I have 500 rupees on me. 63 rupees. I know I'm supposed to mash I. I can, like, fill it and then get close. 63 rupees. But he said he would let me know... He said he would let me know how much time there was left. Didn't he? 69 rupees. Our current bidder is Garrickson. 69 rupees. Hope you don't let it stop there. 72 rupees. 76 rupees. 83 rupees. Oh, it's climbing all by itself for me now. 42 is the amount of time left, right? Okay, so I got time.
Okay, time is running out is the 30 second mark, probably. Jesus, they're spending a lot of money on this treasure chart. Ten seconds left. One Mississippi. There isn't much time left, good people. Are you done bidding? Okay, so he'll say that at the ten second mark. Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi. Five seconds left. Okay, but now I, I'm starting to, I understand his tells and... Thank you for the participation. That brings an end to tonight's auction. So now what? Do I have to leave and come back? Will he do another one? Very kind of him to reset the entire auction for me. That's freaking great. Absolutely. Really? I am fine with that. Okay, let's try again. I'm trying to have a fast man sale, man. Yeah, I think it would be. I think I would have to win the first auction in order to have a chance at the second one and all that. Treasure chart. Yes, correct. Okay. He'll let me know when it's time, right? That's how it works, right? He'll just let me know. I really don't care very much for the implementation of, like, the minigame of you have to do the auction to get the sale, but man, it is freaking worth it, dude. The sale is so good. But this is, like, another game where the whole point is just to wait around, and, I mean, we've talked before on this show about how I don't really care very much for that. Time is running out, so 30 seconds left. Yeah, it's it's a clunky a clunky system and you gotta wait around a long time. Oh, I didn't think that you could do that. I remember doing this before and that it wasn't the first auction. It, well, I don't think it, it may not have even been the second. But it comes up eventually. You just have to keep winning the auctions. Ten seconds left. Five 
five seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Point eight three seconds left. Oh shit, I stunned the shit out of him. My dude, for the price of 215 rupees. Congratulations! You're a winner! Perfect. Okay. Let's try again. I I was always under the impression that I had to win the first one in order to have access to the second one. I should have enough money to do this. I'm hoping. They might go bonkers and try to buy everything out. Which, if they do, hey, fuck them. I'll fight them. And I'll put it all on the line if I have to. God damn it. If it starts at 250, I'm screwed. Oh, does it really? That's a good point. If it starts at 250, I'm screwed. I completely forgot about that. Do I wish to quit? Yes. All right, that's fine, though. That's fine. No, I don't have enough money. I can't do it. I can't do it. I forgot that it starts at 250. Completely forgot. That's okay. It's totally fine. Fine. Um. All right. What's going to end up... What's probably going to end up happening is I'm going to... Does the auction item change based on the night? It might. I don't actually know. I Here's what's going to end up happening. I'm going to actually just look it up and do all that nonsense off camera, probably, and then the next time we come back to this, I'll have it. That's that's what I, I feel like would be the best thing to do. Because, I mean, you know, the whole, the whole point of this is to try to host an entertaining show, and I don't think I can do that if I'm... Um, I don't think I can do that if I'm just spending my whole time staring at this uh, auction house interface this whole time. So we'll get it off air and we'll come back to it and all that jazz. In the meantime, we are headed for the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, you know what? Let's just double check to make sure that there's not any cyclones between here and there that we can use. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's the one. Um... You know, I think this is actually a fairy fountain. I don't think that this is a viable destination for travel. If I remember right, I think this is like a... I think I'm locked in a place. I don't remember what she wants me to do. Yep, locked in a place. Very good. Young Waker of Winds, how did you manage to find this place? I am the queen of the fairy world and I've been waiting your arrival, but now is not the time for us to meet. You still have many challenges to overcome. You seek to protect an individual very dear to you. I know of her, but there is yet another in this world whom you must protect. Come visit my fountain again when you have met that individual. When the time has come for you to face new challenges. At that time, I shall show you my true self. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. Huh. 
How do I make it so that there's a... Couldn't I at one point, like, have a compass? Oh, the compass is down. All right. I'm Thothamalron. I was picturing, like, the wind compass on the... Literally right here where my hand is, is a compass. But I was thinking, for some reason, I had it in my mind that over on that side of the screen, there was, like, a, like the wind compass, like, when I'm doing the, um... The waking winds. The waking of things. The waking of windy things. There he is. This is a great fairy fountain, I think, isn't it? Can I get in there? I totally can. Sweet. Any chance you can give me some magics? You used to be bigger. Oh, there we go. I really like this version of the fairy, but I, what bothers me is her elbows are probably very cold. Let me to aid in your quest. I look like kind of like an ice cream cone. I have very cold elbows. That'd be very terrible. Mine are getting cold just thinking about it. Oh, sweet. Fucking rich. Guys, I have the capability of fucking richness. I'm gonna be able to have a thousand rupees. That's more than what's in my bank account. <laughs> Sorry to disturb you with this unsolicited letter. The following does not interest you. Please throw this letter away without a second thought, but this is your big chance. Do you need an empty bottle or a piece of heart or a treasure chart? We have them at special bargain prices, but we only have one of each. If you're interested, go to the shop ship near Rockspire Island. First come, first served. I can't wait to serve you. To those who took the time to read this letter, please accept my humble thanks. Assistant Manager, Rockspire Shop Ship. A dollar. Fucking great, man. I know that they're rupees. I'm calling them dollars because it's fun. These are a little lumpy tonight. Wait, I'm confused. Didn't the, didn't the wind used to be going that other way? Wouldn't have to do this if I had my magical thing! Bell Della. How are you today? What's going on, friend? We're gonna get some map info, and it's gonna be amazing. Teach me. Northern fairy thing. Huh? The little shopmaster on Windfall Island apparently got his hands on a truly amazing treasure. He calls it magic armor or something like that. It's a pretty cool magical relic from what I've heard. If you want to give him a try, it was deep in his eyes and winning him over with flattery fry. Okay. Uh, I have, yes. It's been a while. It's been a little while. I've played all of the Zeldas. Except for, no, I haven't. I haven't played Triforce Heroes. Also beaten all of the Zeldas, except for Triforce Heroes, and also except for Oracle of Ages for some reason. I never did finish that one. And uh, Four Swords Adventures for the GameCube. Those two I've never finished.
I'll never understand why they put so much distance between the islands. I mean, it's gorgeous out here, but man, it just takes forever. In case you were interested, Bella Della, we stream Saturday Night Zeldas every Saturday night on Zelda. I've been playing them more or less in order. Um, in order of whether or not I have the game and uh, if I can stream it. Which so far I haven't had a, any trouble with, but eventually I will. Because I can't stream anything by Game Boy Color. And I can't stream anything DS or 3DS. I just don't have the tech for it. Although the Game Boy Color games I'm going to end up emulating. I'm sure I can figure that one out. The DS and 3DS ones, I don't know. Was there a Zelda for DS? Oh, yeah, no, there were two of them. There were uh, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. I'm such a dumb. I'd love to play those. I just don't know if I am capable of that. If I can figure it out, I'll do it. But I hold uh, I hold no promises. Yo, what's up? Zeond has followed. Welcome to the game. Thank you for playing. As I was just saying, that there is a stream schedule, and it is directly below my head. If you scroll down very slightly, you'll be able to see it and enjoy it. We do some extra streaming nowadays because I'm laid off. Um, that's going to last until probably about April. Uh, but there isn't a set schedule for the bonus streams. Just keep an eye on... I missed. Oh, I didn't miss. Just keep an eye on uh, Twitter. I usually tweet. I usually Twitter that I'm going to go live for a little bit of a bonus stream. Having the bonus. Stream is... Purple Ruby. That's so great. Man, get your exploding bams out of here. I don't have time for that shit. Bella Della has followed. Welcome to the game. Thank you for playing. Same deal as before. Stream schedule is yonder. Um, anytime... We're playing games, you're free to hang out. Absolutely, for sure, though. Did the sky suddenly... Like, the, the everyone just saw the sun, like, fly past the sky, right? I'm sailing away. There gates. I could tack, but I really don't feel like it. Oh, there they are. Yeah, I, that was that was kind of what I sort of expected to see happen. Um, that's sort of my expectation, man. Hey, Phoebe Play is here. What's going on, Phoebe? Ganon has likely been made aware of our little incursion already, but you have the Master Sword, the sword that shall shine in the darkness, casting back evil. With it in your hands, none can keep you safe, can keep you from rescuing your sister. Do not be afraid. Okay, everybody. Here's the deal. Um, this is going to be about it, actually. For, usually we run until 9. It's about 8.30 now, but I have somewhere I need to be at 9, which is why we went live so early as we did today. I'm doing pretty well, Phoebe. I hope you're doing excellent. Um, my goal for tomorrow is to play... Um, Mario Odyssey. I have Mario Odyssey. It's brand new. It's sitting in a box behind me. I haven't even opened it yet. We're going to make sure that that shit gets installed and updated and all that shit, and then we're going to go live right at 6 is my hope. Um, I would go earlier, but schedule says 6. Let's try and stick to that for this time. Um, you know what? Maybe I don't know. Maybe we might play some Zelda tomorrow before that. It's hard to know for sure exactly what's going to happen. Keep an eye on Twitter for updates for that thing. Uh, in the meantime, though, that's gonna we're going to do a YouTube sign-off. We're going to come back here real quick just to make sure that um, we throw a host to somebody and then uh, we're going to call it a day. Thank you, everybody, very much. for This has been Saturday Night Zelda. I appreciate it. Bye-bye, everybody, now.